made my na uh, nails for my model and kept ready. Okay, the gel polish application and all. So here is my TNT Diamond Shine Cat Eye Polish. So after two coats of your gel polish, you have to put this diamond shine cat eye. Now here, this is my magnet. So you have to show a magnet over here to give a shape. So you all can see this bling. Okay, so this is called as a diamond shine cat eye polish. Cure it for 60 seconds. So this is cordless lamp for TNT. Cure it for 60 seconds properly and then you can put top coat or even you can, if you are interested in doing something more, you can even put something like this. A uh, glass effect polish on top so it will give you a different color. Done. And then just finish it with a top coat or any art you want to do, you can do that. So here I was having this magnet. If I would have shown it straight, then it would, it would have given you a straight look. Okay. According to your diamonds, you can give a shape. Second finger, I'm showing you a bridal jewelry, uh, Swarovski art. So for that, uh, uh, Swarovski's, we have a dotting gel. So this is again a TNT dotting gel for your diamond stickings and all. So pick up your gel and apply in the portion wherever you want to stick your diamond jewelries.
Here I'm using little caviar balls. So one thing good about this dotting gel is like whenever you are using a heavy jewelries for an example nail jewelries which you get uh, like different different shapes and all so this seals the entire corner area and doesn't allow your jewelries to come out so easily so uh, Stick it properly, the uh, shape, uh, whatever you prefer. The thing which I'm using is like a pickup pencil. This is for picking up your jewelry stones. So here I want to stick some of caviar beads. Hope you all are understanding what I am showing you all. Anybody can... Hello? Like, can you all answer me if you all are understanding what I am showing you all? You are getting what I am showing? Any doubt you all can ask me.
ठीक है एंड देन क्योर इट बैक फॉर सिक्सटी सेकेंड इन टू अम क्योर so once your art is done just apply top coats to the sides and uh, inner corners you can use the art, art brush and then put a top coat inside so on this finger i am using a uh, 4d gel uh, art and even i'm doing a foil gel so before doing a foil printing foil we need a tn a foil gel so this is a tnt foil gel apply on your nail properly or you can even play, uh, make a design with the gel and cure and put your foils on it Applied and then cure it for sixty second. Okay. So here, this is my printing foil. So I'll be using this printing foil on the nails to uh, get a like a golden effect. You can use a floral printing foil. You can use any color, any patterns of printing foil. Done. We are all done. so just place it the direction wherever you want it so uh, is it clearly visible guys are you guys following what's happening here raise your hands are you with us raise your hands everybody is following what's happening here gotagide illa illi irodume what's happening you're able to see visible it's clear enough right okay so okay so you are have done with my foil printing foil on the sides so in center i'll be doing a 5 uh, 40 gel flower okay but before doing a 40 gel i need to seal my uh, seal, uh, seal my work so i'll use a top coat over here tnt no wipe top coat
Okay, after applying your top coat, cure it back for 60 seconds. Cure. Yeah. Now, once my top coat is dried up, I'll be using TNT 4D white gel. So, this is basically for making your uh, 4D art. You can make a 5D art as well, 3D patterns also with this. For this, you need a 4D art tool brush. And a uh, IPA, so here as a IPA, you need to take it into your crystal jar. And you can use even a dotting gel if your flowers or petals are not sticking with each other. Okay. So yeah, my top coat has dried up nicely. So before uh, drawing any art or a 5D or 4D art or your, any freehand art, if you have applied top coat, just smooth buff your top coat little with a uh, smooth buffer. Or even you can use a matte top coat on, on this. So here I'll just pick up a product little. Keep it on, on a palette or something, any place. Just roll it little. You can just place little dotting gel wherever you want to stick this. A makeup pattern. Take a small beat, make a small ball with it like this, and then pick it up. Place it the direction where you want it and then give a shape. So one thing good about this 4D gel is like you can create any shape with it. And you have a time in your hand so like it doesn't uh, like doesn't bother you like a uh, acrylic powders. You can make any shape and then any time. We'll cure this. So once your one petal is being cured, we'll go for other one. Again, same thing. Make a small bead and place it to the where you have stuck the uh, previous one. Dab and give a shape. Okay. 
ठीक है क्योर इट बैक so each petal you need to cure so that your art doesn't spoil if you're doing a one on one overlapping uh, type of flower shape it well and cure it so now you i'll be going little inside so for when you going in a in a side so you have to take a small bead when you're working on the outside when you're making bigger petals take a bigger bead so you have placed little dotting gel so that my petal sticks nicely down and shape it
Sure. How many? Ten. Ten, ten. What is the time? So here in center, I am making a little small swirl or even you can make a round shape like this and place a diamond in it. I have that. Okay. Okay. So here I am creating a leaves. And then cure it. So my 4D art is done. I hope you all can see it. Are you all able to see? And I hope you all liked it. So here I'll do a blossom uh, rose. So for blossom rose, we need a blossom gel. Okay, so we'll put a one layer of a blossom gel and on top of that we need, I'll be doing blossom with a white and I'll be using a glass of it on top of it. So glass jelly pink color.
So here is my triple zero pro series nail art brush, which I'm going to use it for uh, doing my rows. This is how it looks. I okay, sorry. So a very fine bristle. So here I'm applying a blossom gel clear. And over here on palette, I have took a small drop of white gel polish. So I'll be doing it with a white gel polish. Keep it drop and center, squirrel it. Just turn it round. And wherever you end your first uh, bead, there only place your second and then stroke both these sides. So then it starts spreading. So once your this is done, cure it. 60 seconds curing. So after your polish is dried for 60 seconds, use your glass effect, gel polish, glass jelly, sorry. Take a minimum amount of your product and your brush and then apply. Okay, cure it for 60 seconds. And after your glass jelly is dried up, you have to apply a top coat. So my other art is my universal pearl polish. So this is again a TNT universal pearl polish which is used for uh, giving a pearl effect on all of your gel polish color. You can use any color gel polish to make a pearl effect. Two coats of your gel polish, dry it nicely, then you have to apply your glass jelly, uh, sorry, universal pearl polish and with your nail art brush make a swirl or give any kind of effect.
So here again, I'm using triple zero brush, uh, nail art pro brush. So you can make a tiny swirls over here or just mix, um, make uh, any pattern. Hope you all can see this. A small swirls are there in this. I guess you all can see it uh, when I'll get the model over there. Short it for 60 seconds. So on this final is your top coat. Uh, never apply a top coat on your diamonds. If you put the, a top coat on your diamonds, the cut of your diamonds will go away and it won't blink nicely. Sorry?
that. So I'm curing my thumb once again for the safer side as the, and you put your hand like this, the thumb corner area doesn't uh, cure. So I'm again putting it inside, just single thumb. And as I told you all that this is TNT cordless LED lamp. Once you charge it, you can use it for a long time. Like for your, especially for your uh, feet nails, your extensions or gel polish. This is the best lamp you can use it. I hope you all have understood all the art what I have showed. Any doubts, any questions, you all can ask me. No questions? Then two minutes. Yeah. So here's my diamond shine cat eye polish, uh, jewelries with dotting gel, 4D gel with your printing foil, foil gel, blossom with glass effect and pearl, uh, universal pearl polish. So any uh, things about your product requirements, we are here at four, uh, 10 counter, you all can come and visit to our uh, counter for the art. All right, thank you so much, uh, Nayan. Thank you for a beautiful uh, live demo here.